Okay, guys, this is the second part of a video I started a couple hours ago. What you're seeing here is a problem child that was leaking, blowing bubbles out of the, uh, the nose of the plenum area right here. And as you can see, as we speak, the problem is fixed. Okay? No more bubbles. Alright? Now I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. Let me drain this. Get this out of here. Bear with me while I dry this off a little. And, uh, you know, just give it a cursory pat down here. Okay. Now, one of the things I want to show you, I've said it before in the past, but I'm going to tell you again, is some of these leaks, like coming out of the the nose of the plenum area, you just are not going to find by putting drops of water here, there, and wherever, a soapy water. And to submarine it like this under the underwater in the sink is uh, seems pretty drastic, but really it's not. And so as to let you know, um. Right now, I don't even have the hammer or spring or any of that stuff in here. Let me bring it to the light and show you. All I've got is the valve rod. On the tip of the valve rod, I've got the C1 hammer stop. And then, of course, I've got the black connector piece and valve return spring. And valve spring adjustment nut okay nothing else this gun is stripped down all right now let me show you this side and when i say stripped down i mean stripped down there's no there's no uh power wheel uh the trigger assembly is gone I took out, and you can look down from the top, and from the side, and the bottom, and you can see there's no hammer uh, in there, no hammer spring, no hammer weight, no nothing. So all you've got here is something you dry off with a towel, take it. Uh, your air compressor with your air chuck and just spend about 20 minutes blowing out every orifice every screw hole you name it until it's 100 percent dry i'll go ahead when i'm when i'm done with this video i'll go ahead and take off this uh, rear plate which is the magazine guide and uh, dry up underneath here um but it's not critical to remove this. Uh, you can you can blow all this stuff dry. Anyway, what I also wanted to show you guys, if you bear with me here. Oh, there's my little workbench in the spare bedroom here. Uh, you can see I got a couple. <laughs> I got a couple guns tore apart here working on them. But what I want to explain to you now is that if you're going to do this kind of stuff, you're going to have to have some patience. What seemed like an easy fix of, you know, letting the air out, degassing it, loosening this screw, and pulling the nose of the plenum out of the trigger block, and, uh, 
putting a couple O-rings on the nose, putting it back together. Sounds simple. Well, I've been fighting this for the last two hours. Um, the, it was not only it was leaking out of two places. So, first of all, the O-rings that belong on the outside of the nose are nine by one point five. Buna 90. Now in the old days, FX used Buna 70. Either one will actually work. But they weren't working today. They kept getting cut when I would try to slide the nose back in. Even though I lubed it up, greased it up. Anyway, so I uh, tried some other ones. A little bit larger, 9.5 by 1.5. Which is kind of idiotic, because they're larger, but, you know, and of course they got cut even worse. Let me get rid of those. So, back to the drawing board with these. I can't tell you how many times I took it apart and put it back together, and it just kept leaking. So, I took a great big fat pencil, like the ones they use at Home Depot, and wrapped some 600 wet sandpaper around it and I sanded the whole little tunnel there that the nose of the plenum goes in and just you know any little sharp edges or whatever and then I put it back together and the slow leak was fixed and so you understand if you've got a leak coming from the o-rings on the nose of the plenum It'll be a slow leak. The bubbles will be coming out very slowly. Um, if they're coming out real fast, that usually means the O-ring inside the nose of the plenum is bad. It's gotten old and dried up and shrunk a little bit and allowing it to leak. Well, so I couldn't find my O-rings. Finally, I did. Now, the O-ring that belongs down inside the nose of the plenum is a 2.84 by 2.62, Buna 90. Okay, well, I went to O-rings and more a while back and ordered me some new ones, because I couldn't find my old ones, and there they are. I tried a half a dozen times, and these black ones will not seal the damn thing. And I'm just, like, ready to scream and pull my hair out. So, I went through the process of going through every box. You know, I got bags and bags of O-rings. Like, you know, you just don't wouldn't believe how many thousands of O-rings I've got. And finally... I found my, my good old ones. As you can see, 2.84 by 2.62. But these are white ones. Okay, let me just see if I can focus on that for you. So, here, just a few minutes ago, I put one of these, not white, they're kind of clear. Um, if you can see there. Uh, some are kind of yellowish and some are kind of clear. Well, I put one of the clear ones in and then a 5.5 uh, by 1.5 millimeter uh, black O-ring that uh, holds that one in place down in the nose of the plenum. Put it all back together and bingo. It's holding there like a champ. Okay, now I got you back here under a better light. Let me show you up inside there. Mm-hmm. This is all very easy to dry out and uh, put back together. So if you guys are going to replace the O-ring in the nose of the plant, I'm telling you, I recommend these clear ones. Uh, they work for me. Those darn black ones. I mean, I tried three different ones, and they just would not make a seal. 
I mean, I, I just wanted to scream. And I'll reiterate, the ones that go on the outside of it are a 9 by one5 on the outside of the nose. Buna 70s will work. Buna 90s are preferred these days. All right, so let me throw that back over there on the pile. And now at this point, what I'm going to do is, is uh, air it up a little more. And uh, um, mark the gauge to uh, with a piece of tape to uh, make sure that there's no more leaks. Although I had it under water there for 15 minutes and not one bubble from any place, but still. Uh, as you can see, there's one other situation going on here. That little humid gauge, I don't know if you can see, has some, a little moisture has accumulated up under that plastic lens. And you can't pop the lens off these. But what you can do is just take like a hair dryer and blow a little hot air on there. Don't use a heat gun. Use a hair dryer and blow a little hot air on there and that will all evaporate and disappear. This one back here I could care less about. It's a sacrificial gauge that never has red right. So I just use it basically to plug the hole in the rear block when I'm dunking guns. All right, so uh, I hope any of this was helpful. And the uh, last thought I would like to leave you guys with is this. There's a show I watch on YouTube called Fab Rats. And one of the reasons I love to watch this show is because, not only because these guys are so talented, because these guys have got 10 tons of patience with themselves and each other, which I have very little. I was never blessed with much patience, but I'm learning and uh, guns like this absolutely force you to have some patience, whether you like it or not. Anyway, them, them old boys up at Fabras got a saying that, uh, you know, we do it nice because we do it twice. <laughs> well, I've got them beat. I do it nice because I do it about 15 or 20 times sometimes. But I keep going until I get it. And the good news is, no matter what's going on with your impact, you can fix it. You know, it may give you some trouble, but you will win in the end. Okay? After working on, oh, probably over 100 of these in the last three years, and tuning them for people, and what not um i'm telling you i ain't never had one beat me yet although i've had quite a few like this one that uh you know kicked my ass for a couple hours but eventually they uh threw in the towel <laughs> and let me win all right so uh have patience with yourself don't get angry and disgusted and pissed off. Just keep going back to square one and doing what you, what you know to do. And if you get lost, there's people like me that can help you get over a hump. All right? So if you hit a wall in the process of working on your gun, go ahead and send me an email and I'll try to see if I can get you over, the, over that problem. All right? Okay, until next week, <laughs> this, is, this is your friend Chuck signing off.